My video today is about uh, famous people who died on Valentine's Day. And I'll be visiting two of them who were buried here in Southern California, and I'll be remembering a few others. Plus, at the end of this video, I'll be visiting the final resting place of one very famous person who didn't die on Valentine's Day, but she was born on Valentine's Day. Do you know who she is? And do you know anyone who died on Valentine's Day? Hi friends and fellow graveyard guys and girls. Thanks for joining me on another trip to the graveyard. As you can see, I'm back once again at Hollywood Forever Cemetery. The first person that I'm visiting today is interred here at the Abbey of the Psalms Mausoleum in the Sanctuary of Light corridor. Her crypt is almost all the way to the end of the hallway on the right-hand side, just two rows down from the top. I'm here at the crypt of Jean Wallace. And you can see her all the way up there. Unfortunately, she has one of the few plaques that doesn't have a date at all. All it has is her name. That's uh, pretty rare. I don't see that very often. Actress Jean Wallace was born on October 12, 1923 in Chicago and died February 14, 1990 in Los Angeles. She died from a gastrointestinal hemorrhage at the age of 66. Wallace appeared in a couple of dozen movies and TV shows, and early in her career, Wallace was a showgirl with a very popular Earl Carroll Vanities. Earl Carroll opened his first theater in New York in 1922, and his second theater was opened in Hollywood in 1938. Since Wallace was born in 1923, I'm guessing that she was probably a showgirl here at the Hollywood Theater, upon Sunset Boulevard, just a couple of miles from the cemetery. Here's what the theater looked like back in the 1930s and 40s, and here's what it looked like in the late 1960s and early 70s when it was called the Aquarius Theater. It was either 1969 or 1970 when I saw the musical Hair at this theater. I had heard the director, Quentin Tarantino, had had the theater painted to look the way it did back in 1969 when it was the Aquarius Theater, for his movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, starring Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio. So on my way to Hollywood Forever Cemetery this morning, I had to drive by the theater and see for myself, and it was like taking a time machine back to 1969. Wallace had also been married to actors Franchot Tone and Cornell Wilde, but she never quite achieved the level of fame of her two former husbands. Another famous woman who died on Valentine's Day was model Reva Steenkamp. Steenkamp was born on August 19, 1983 in Cape Town, South Africa and died February 14, 2013 in Pretoria, South Africa at the age of 29. She was shot and killed on Valentine's Day by her Olympic athlete boyfriend, Oscar Pistorius. Her murder and the trial that followed made international headline news. Sadly, she was cremated and has no final resting place for fans to visit. And as you can see, I'm also back once again at Westwood Village Memorial Park. Like Hollywood Forever Cemetery, hundreds of famous people are buried here, and at least one of them died on Valentine's Day. Actor Louis Jordan was born June 19, 1921 in Marseille, France, and died February 14, 2015 in Beverly Hills at the age of 93. He appeared in more than 70 movies and TV shows during his long career and is now buried in the center lawn section here at Westwood Village Memorial Park. Jordan co-starred with some of the biggest names in Hollywood and for those of you who are not familiar with them, here are a few of the films he appeared in. If you were alive in the 1970s, then you're probably familiar with the name John Ehrlichman. He was an advisor and an assistant to President Richard Nixon and a key figure in the Watergate break-in and cover-up scandal. He was convicted of conspiracy, obstruction of justice, and perjury and served a year and a half in prison, and President Nixon was forced to resign. Ehrlichman was born March 20, 1925, in Tacoma, Washington, 
and died on Valentine's Day, February 14, 1999, in Atlanta, Georgia, at the age of 73. He died from complications of diabetes. He was cremated and has no final resting place at this time. And given the theme of today's video, I thought this would be a perfect time to share this selfie sent to me by Tony Cortez in front of Hollywood sex symbol and Latin lover Rudolph Valentino's crypt at Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Valentino didn't die on Valentine's Day, but when he passed away on August 23, 1926, at the young age of 31, he left behind him millions of broken hearts. So thanks, Tony, for sharing this photo of your visit to Valentino's grave with us. As I mentioned earlier, this next famous person didn't die on Valentine's Day, but she was born on Valentine's Day. Actress Florence Henderson, also known to millions as Carol Brady from the ABC TV sitcom The Brady Bunch, was born on Valentine's Day, February 14th, 1934, and died November 24th, 2016, at the age of 82. Like so many others, she's also interred here at Westwood Village Memorial Park in Los Angeles. So I want to give a shout out and a thank you to Leanne for suggesting that I include Florence Henderson in this Valentine's Day video. So thanks, Leanne. A number of other famous people have also died on Valentine's Day, but their final resting places are either out of the country, out of the state, are unknown, or they were cremated and have no final resting place. So in the coming year, if any of you watching happen to visit any of their grave sites and would like to share them with us, please take a photo or a video selfie at their grave site, send them to the email address down below this video, and I'll do the same, and we'll see how many we can find between now and next Valentine's Day. And for those of you who have asked about Graveyard Guy and Graveyard Girl t-shirts and gifts, I'll put a link down below this video as well. So, thanks for being so awesome, you guys. Thanks for watching and liking and sharing and giving these videos thumbs up. I really appreciate that. So until next time, thanks for sharing the memories.